Well, baby, it's cold outside. <gasps> but Andy, on the other hand, is hot. So hot. Ooh. Inspired by your lipstick, Jen. It's the last week of the World Cup, and I think we should have one last World Cup-themed hero. And the question that I want to ask is, how can you build a logical bridge between the World Cup and a condom brand? Well, do tell us. Well, I don't think I would have been able to answer it readily either, but happily uh, we received a tweet from Gillian Wrightford, um, who pointed us in the direction of an online campaign uh, run by Durex uh, under the uh, name of hashtag don't fake it. And what they've cleverly done is taken the uh, concept of faking it in both worlds, in the world of football and in the world of sexual relations. nice little elegant way to build your brand into the zeitgeist without uh, forcing it in in an unnatural way. And your zero? Well, moving swiftly from condoms to pornography, uh, we find ourselves with another suggested uh, zero from a listener, this time from uh, David Newton, who was at his local ocean basket and discovered that there was a competition underway whereby you were encouraged to take the heads of prawns you had consumed and turn them into finger puppets. Take photographs, post the photographs online, and then you would be uh, up for grabs uh, for free meals, discount You'd be vouchers. a prawn star. You'd be a prawn star, absolutely. <laughs> um, and he felt this was both in um, uh, aesthetic and etiquette poor taste. And I think even though I don't eat prawns myself, having seen some of those photographs, I'm inclined to agree with him. It is a bit yuck. In fact, David said it was um, poor taste and, and barbaric. That's quite strong. That's good enough to be a zero. Well, we can continue this conversation on the Andy Rice Facebook page. So why don't you join us there? And we will, I promise you, read your postings. We'll even look at your pictures. Mm -hmm.